Hey guys. So here we are. All right. So this picture, I titled it appropriately. I titled it Almost There. And it's about a group of friends. I'm such a sucker for this kind of story. Sort of a, a misfit group of friends who have been on a long journey, a trying journey, something that's felt very difficult. They're in my mind, they're always probably escaping prosecution or some kind of regime that is oppressive. And they're coming to freedom. And so this is what this is about for me in my head anyway. Um, so these this sort of misfit crew has come upon their version of Shangri-La. They're almost there and they're not quite at their destination, but they're almost there. And for the first time, it's in sight. It's like a new day. You can picture all kinds of songs playing here. Like, I don't know, here comes the sun and, um, and whichever, whatever the title is of that song, that's like, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. You know, clearly, I don't know. Anyway, it is the beginning of a new day, the end of a an oppressive era, and freedom is on the horizon. So I'm such a sucker for this kind of story. And if you've seen the Sia video for Thunderclouds, I love that video so much. It's another one that's thematically that way, a group of misfit friends on this amazing journey. So anyway, so in this one, let's talk craft for a minute. I really need to work on uh, perspective and depth. And as you see, a lot of my work, because it's like line work and watercolor, a lot of people who do line work and watercolor, they actually do really well with light. But I think light is one of my weaknesses. So that is something I'm definitely going to be studying and learning about. Um, this is, and I think the way that I could sort of see that manifesting in this picture right here is just that, like, I like the way this walkway turned out. I mean, the walkway is fine. Um, but again, remember that the more contrast you put in the distance of a picture, the closer it's going to appear. So it's going to flatten the image. So when you have something that um, where you have a landscape and things are far in the distance, you want to actually reduce the number, the contrast, the amount of contrast in the distance. And we'll probably do like a close up tutorial about that one day soon so that you get the kind of nuts and bolts and see what I'm talking about. But when I do that, although like look at this walkway the dark around the walkway. I like it. I like how it looked, but it also made the image more flat in that it makes it look like the background is closer than I'd like it to look. So that is something I need to perfect and really work on in terms of landscape art and just in general, just with any, any picture I do. I do like the fact that, um, I, I mean, I, I had the option here. I have the option still of sort of lightening the distance here in Photoshop. But I think I've talked about before the fact that I don't like relying on Photoshop. I love that it's available as a tool. I love that I can use it if I want to. And I do edit in Photoshop for sure. But I try to do it as, as little as possible because I don't know, I feel like it makes me lazy when I'm actually producing traditional art to just think to myself, oh, I can just edit in Photoshop. If I tell myself that the only shot I've got is in this traditional picture and then I can later go in and edit in Photoshop, I feel like that produces the best results. So anyway, this is as joyful as this image was to do. It was so much fun and it was in my head for a long time. It also is showing me how much work I need to do on light and contrast. I like the color choices here. The um, I think we'll do a video soon as well on the color wheel because that's something that I've always just kind of eyeballed color, but that's not always the best route to go because you can sort of honestly screw yourself over halfway through a picture when you're making wrong color choices because you're not going by um, a, a palette you've decided on beforehand that you know works. So, but green, orange, and purple are good choices for the color wheel and yellow as well, but we'll, we'll go into detail more why that was. So as you can tell, I was avoiding blue in this picture, uh, bluish tones. And so we've got, you know, we've got the girl on her horse, the brave girl all the way on the left. I'm imagining she's kind of the leader, although maybe that's a little bit biased because I'm imagining the human is the leader of this crew. Maybe she doesn't have to be. Maybe it's the donkey. Who knows? She's got a miniature donkey next to her. I love miniature donkeys, guys. They're like the best. 
Um, so the miniature donkey's carrying some of their like luggage. And then next to her, she's got sort of a gnome holding her baby and then an ostrich with another gnome on its back. So it's a multi-species trek, guys. This is a multi-species journey, which is another thing I like. Like maybe they come from a land that's not tolerant toward all species. Maybe they had to sort of orchestrate this little escape from this intolerant land and where they're arriving is actually a place of tolerance and freedom for all of them. I like that. Let's go with that. That's what's happening here. They have arrived. And I like this. I like the idea of this being the beginning of their journey. Quick fun note. So the horse, as you can see, I'm about to try to go for this effect. The horse has that sort of dappled look, that um, sort of shimmery, like the white dots on top of the gray look in German that's called Apfelschimmel. A, sh a Schimmelpferd, and that means mold. Schimmel is mold. So they're likening the coat of that kind of horse to mold. So you've got to love the very literal Germans. But uh, yeah, so they've arrived at this land, looking off into this dis the distance. Here I'm just sort of deepening and darkening with, um, I'm still adding basic color, but I'm also deepening and darkening like with... Uh, watercolor and then towards the end with watercolor pencil as I always do I always add depth at the end with watercolor pencil let's see how far we get I don't think we get all the way to the end of the completed image in this video but we get very close and if I continue to work on this one I'll probably add more contrast in the foreground as long as I don't darken it too much that's always a trick you don't want to go too much. A big part of art, guys, is learning when to stop. And I think that's going to be another video altogether, is learning when to just stop. Because a lot of us are bad at that, including myself. Sometimes I've had pictures that were really good, like 15 steps prior to when I actually did stop. But anyway, it's about new beginnings. It's about hope and joy and freedom and tolerance and looking toward a new day. Hope you enjoyed. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Here we are again. Have I done this correctly? I think so.